Hey guys, welcome back to Surge Outdoors Angling. Today we're on a reservoir and we are testing out new PK lures. The wobbler, right? So it's a float. And uh, you're gonna see some custom colors here because I custom paint, right? So it's a triangular float, right? You guys see that? And we just got on like a worm or a leech harness, right? Two uh, number six hooks. Number 12 line, uh, fluorocarbon, right? And we're gonna see how that goes. We're gonna throw some crawlers behind these bad boys. Here they are, here's some more. Here's some of the factory ones, right? Some greens, blues. And we're gonna see how that goes. Stay tuned guys, hopefully. We're gonna put some walleye in the box. Wow, good fish, good fish, good fish, guys. That's what I'm talking about. We lost that first one off the bat, but we'll stick with it, we'll grind them. Yeah, that's a good fish. It'll be a nice one for this size of body of water, guys. This is just a small little reservoir. <laughs> Down in southern Saskatchewan. This is gonna be a nice fish for here, guys. Stand down. Oh yeah. Oh boys. Let's get this uh, other GoPro going here. That's a nice fish. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish for here, you guys. Wow. That's a beauty. That is a nice fish for this body of water. So I'll show you guys here what we got going on. So here's that fish, guys, on a PK wobbler. Look at him. Custom painted wobbler, right? I custom paint. That is uh, that's how it's done. Swallowed it. So, let's see how big this guy is. Fifty-two, so uh, twenty and a half inch walleye. Might keep that guy for supper. All right, we'll turn on the well here. Supper, bud. So I made one adjustment. There's lots of perch in this lake. So uh, I switched to the impulse crawler from Northland, right? Because those live crawlers, those perch are just peeling them off, picking them apart, right? So if you throw on a plastic, it'll stay on there, right? You'll be able to reuse it after they're done picking at it. So yeah, that worked out good. All right, here it is. Missing the top bead there. Right there. Beautiful. Okay, let's go slug some more. Using uh, PK wobblers. Never tried them before. Let's just get that straight. I've only fished 
once on this body of water for perch, fall perch fishing, videos down below. And right now, first time I've ever fished walleye in my boat on this lake. So, there you have it. And I think we've got another fish here. We sure do. <laughs> How's that, guys? <laughs> so I think we're gonna start labeling them today for sure. I mean, that's pretty good. Just show it up. One miss, two fish. Small little walleye. Oh, and he's gone. That's fine. That's good. Didn't want him anyways. So, right, so there's the good thing about that plastic, guys. Stays on. Right? Let's fire at him again. One thing I noticed, guys, I did a couple passes at like that 1.1, 1 1.2. Uh, I started getting those bites at about 1.4, 1.5. So this rig might be better at a little bit higher speeds to get that float really flailing back and forth. Just something to watch, right? Play around with, experiment. That's what fishing is, trying to figure out that bite, right? Constant experimenting, tuning, to figure these fish out, right? another one just trying to dig some stuff out of my tackle box oh man they're liking that impulse plastic guys that crawler see how big this guy is here doesn't feel that big he's a bolt flipper little guy they usually don't like boat flipping walleye but I mean he's like a 12 incher I broke a few rods doing that kind of stuff but we're definitely going to roll through a few colors today, right? Throw some different colors in front of them. You never know. You might be catching the odd fish on a color. You switch to, let's say, a pink, a chartreuse, or whatever. And next thing you know, it's just like fireworks, right? Color is such a huge part of the fishing game. Too many perch in this lake. Feel them just nipping. There we go. There's a walleye. There we go, guys. It feels like not bad too. Not bad, not bad. Is it a 12 inch or bigger? Real small. That's okay. There's another one. Right, so even the small guys are grabbing that crawler, guys. That impulse, eh? That pink guys. A pink watermelon. Oh yeah, this is a good fish. He absolutely steamrolled that thing. That's what I'm talking about. Custom painting, custom floats. Man, it's awesome. Absolutely awesome. This is a good fish guy. Here he is, he's an absolute stud. Oh man, that's a nice fish for this lake. That's a beauty, you guys. A beauty. Just had the camera, SD card, shoes full. Check this out, you guys on the watermelon look at that pk wobbler beauty look at this guy small reservoir guys this is stud for here great fish see how big this guy is and three quarter so he's uh 52 and a half ish another butte man we are gonna be eating good tonight it's custom painting you guys believe yet or what 
God's all wrapped up, so that's what's happening here. Yeah, there we go. It's that Northland Tackle Crawler doing its thing. Just rolling with the punches, you know? Rolling with the punches. Beauty. Let's get after him again. Tuning in from the United States, what do you think of Saskatchewan? Hey, I got a few videos from Alberta, but uh, majority is from Saskatchewan, guys. Um, down south, we got reservoirs like this. Up north, beautiful country, boreal forest, trees, clear water lakes. Definitely a wide variety, and the fishing is always good. Always. You can find the fish, you can catch the fish. Straight up. Pot of fish back basically in the same spot. Where I marked them before. Man, they're just chilling out there. <clears throat> That's fine, we'll run a new color right through them. Look at that. <laughs> new color. Went right through those walleye guys that I took the Ninja Turtle lime through. Three times I took the lime through there. Changed color, came back through. Fish on. Color is a big deal, right? They're just loaded right there. Wonder if this is a pike. I hope not. Right there. This guy's got some jam. Look at him. He's he's choked right there. <laughs> Flaring. He's madder than a hornet. Good little guy. He's a 16 and a half incher. He was bad. Took one in the rod holder, guys. had it in the rod holder. Ow. Man, they like that 1.4 with these, you guys. I tried 1.2, stuff like that. You picked it up, that 1.4. Man. <clears throat> yeah. This is a little rascal. Why we wear bibs. There we go. Gotcha. Gotcha. This guy, he 
feels all right. We'll just, just get the drain. Feels not bad. Yeah. Yeah, there's some weight to him. Yep. He's scrappy too. Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice little wall right there. That's not bad, that guy. Here we go. Doesn't feel that big. Not a little tiny walleye. There's one. You guys got some weight, you guys. Big walleye or a pike that's just laying there. I don't know. It's weird. If it's a walleye, it's a good walleye because they just wait. We have a pike that doesn't think he's hooked. Man, there's just weight. Just wait. If it's a walleye and he sees this boat. He is gonna go nuts. He knows he's hooked now. Oh yeah, now he knows he's hooked. I think it's pike, but lots of weight. Only got 12 pound fluorocarbon leader on. It's a good fish. Whatever it is, it's a good fish. No, no real crazy head shakes though. You know how pike, you'll get those big Head shakes. Big walleye fight good too. Like don't don't kid yourself. All the big walleye I've caught, man, you swear they were pike. Just monsters. Man. Walleye. Oh, it's a walleye. good fish. Bigger than those other ones I caught guys. Giant. For this body of water you guys this thing is a giant. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Big fish. Oh you guys. PK Wobbler. It works. This is a good fish, you guys. We're gonna, I'm definitely gonna release this guy. We're gonna get him in. He's in the net right now. We're gonna get him in, we're gonna measure him. And uh, we're gonna take a look at him. This is a gorgeous fish. Oh yeah, he knows he's up. He knows he's caught now. Oh, oh yeah, you just got fangs, buddy. Look at the size of this fish, you guys. Look at this thing. Beauty. How big is it? I tell you right now. Sixty-two, sixty-three centimeter walleye. 
24 and a half. Look at this thing. That's a beautiful fish. Here he is, guys. Saskatchewan gold. Big old donkey for this lake. He's a donkey. Look at him. Look at the size of that fish. God, look at him. Man, that was awesome. That's what I'm talking about. PK Wobbler is for real. First time using it. Lake I've never fished walleye on. What do you say? I don't know what you say. Like, that was awesome. Another one. Right when I was wanting to turn here. That's okay. Straighten the boat out. Bring them right in. Boat flip candidate. Don't bite me, please. This guy is mad. He's got some weight too again. What is he? What do we got here? He's got weight and he's mad. It means a battle. <laughs> and I like battles, man. Let's go. Again, when you see the boat, oh, are you staying down? Oh, yeah. he's... It's not bad, he's nice, he's nice. He's decent, no monster, but he's decent. Got a lot of pep in his step, I'll tell you. I'll show you guys here look at him see where that crawler is just took it right inside of his mouth back hook guys thanks again for watching Serge Outdoors Angling pulling PK wobblers for walleye um, these floats guys they work really good PKs they're a triangular float right they work really good new lake that I've never had my boat on fishing for walleye first time using PKs the wobblers walleye in the boat I don't know how much better you can get Special thanks to PK for making a good product for us fishermen, right? Without uh, lure companies, we wouldn't be able to catch fish. So, um, thanks again, guys. And, uh, yeah, we're out of here. I'm going to get that bow mount up and take off and go fill out some fish and have a fish fry. Take care, guys. Till next time, I'll see you on the water.